Hey everybody, this is Mike from Artificial Antics. Just going through this uh, Runway ML Gen 3 Alpha all videos. Uh, this is pretty impressive. This is similar to uh, how I felt about Sora when it came out. I do think that Sora maybe was a little bit more uh, refined than this. I mean, this is similar, but there are a lot of uh, a lot of things that I look at and I'm like, okay, um, Sora may have done that better. Uh, the other thing about Runway Gen 3 Alpha, uh, which again, this is not out yet for people to use, just, just like Sora. Uh, and then uh, there's another video generator called Kling AI that is just for uh, China and you have to have a Chinese phone number, so I don't have access to that either. But I did, did was impressed, pretty impressed by this. Uh, you can see that, you know, they have anime here. Uh, we just saw a woman driving in a car. You know, people are turning their faces. Uh, if we will get a little bit further into the video and I did notice a little bit of a lack of you know that that like face turning and turning directions which I do feel like was better covered in Sora we've got this kind of big monster type guy we've got a guy in a theater uh, I think the eyes and the face are pretty well done here uh, you know again it's it's dark right they don't have anything where you've got direct light we've got some uh, insects here and grass you know, kind of like a pan out, zoom out, almost as if you were looking at a drone. This is pretty cool, really fine detail here. Uh, although you could get this, you know, just by zooming into a picture too, to some degree, um, there would be a point where, uh, you know, that would blur out like that. And then we're on a train here. This is pretty cool. Again, we're going, we're going straight. Um, not a lot of change in directions here, which is something I noticed across the video going through a tunnel uh we're going straight kind of go into some grass here this is this is cool right i mean like it's uh it's definitely better than some of the stuff that we've seen in the past this one i wasn't too impressed with uh the faces if you look on the left are kind of like weird and messed up especially the eyes uh in the middle it's okay uh this is a cool scene this is kind of underwater you've got some plant life here uh very neat definitely a, a step above what uh, runway has done in the past in my opinion again we'll see once we get access to these we'll see if this is just hype and um, this stuff is you know extremely hard to reproduce or if we're able to reproduce it I did like the balloon scene we've got a little flame here that changes color uh, through a marketplace you know again you know th this is gonna uh, depend on people's creativity too right we're in a garage here we kind of got some plant life sprouting up a little tunnel uh, sort of kind of reminds me of like something you'd see in a story or a movie a lady on a train she's not gonna turn her head spoilers uh, but there's a lot of color here I do like how the lights reflecting off her face I think that's pretty cool got plant life uh, sprouting up here in the video and then we've got you know um, a bird I don't know I don't know what kind of bird this is but walking across kind of like a, a tundra uh, which again you know this stuff isn't super complex I really like this one I, you know it, it's not very complex we'll never see her turn around uh, or anything like that uh, if at all you know they're never gonna see her eyes but then you got somebody on stage here coming up uh, and, and yeah, it's kind of interesting. So, um, you know, we had Sora come out uh, And when I say come out, we don't still don't have access to it, but they they put up some demos you've got uh, Kling AI which is Chinese only and then now uh, Runway ML has their generation 3 is out in alpha again. This isn't out for public use, but uh, We'll see what happens when it comes down the line. Anyway, uh, if you like what we're doing here like and subscribe and looking forward to hearing from you in the comments. What are your thoughts on generative AI and, uh, and the video generation that's coming out just recently? Thanks a lot, folks. We'll see you back in the lab soon.